All right, we got a nasty one on the books here. So these tiles got absolutely destroyed by the installer because they decided to put a sealer on here and the sealer completely failed. It turned white and not only that, it basically, it, it appeared to have trapped a lot of moisture in the tiles and that sort of accelerated the aging and like the deterior deteriorating process of the travertine so there's a lot of tiles that looked like they just had a lot of premature wear and tear like almost if they were like you know i'd been down for 30 years we've done travertine that was 20 plus years old and didn't look any anywhere as bad as this so this was in pretty bad shape and the homeowners actually had i think two or three other companies come out to try to do test spots to fix this and none of them were successful so they got in contact with us and we came out the test spot it looked great so here we are. Now, one of the other unfortunate things about a job like this is we have to charge an insane amount to fix this. It's very expensive. It's very labor intensive. It's super messy. It's honestly just not fun. We're happy to do it. We unfortunately do it a lot. And I say unfortunately just because it's very unfortunate for the homeowner. We do it a lot. Um, it's super common out here. So our first step is to put down a stripping product. So as you saw in the last clip, that's what Travis was doing. And this is kind of the, the final product after letting it sit for about an hour. All of that old sealer on there is starting to bubble up and we're getting ready to blast it off. So we basically let it sit, uh, let it just kind of penetrate deep into the, the pores of the travertine and let it break up the sealer. Now it's time to blast it all off. So we're using hot water here, uh, trying to just scrape it all off as best we can and then going through kind of blasting it off with the turbo tip here to get some of the more stubborn spots and then I'm actually using a leaf blower here to try to push the more or push all the water uh, from going in the pool and then here we set up these pool noodles which we do a lot when we're working around a pool deck that kind of basically acts like, acts like a water barrier to prevent water from just flowing into the pool and carrying all the sand and sealer and everything in there and any job like this it's going to be messy so uh, there's going to be stuff that gets in the pool but we try to minimize that as best we can so Here's after our first round of stripping everything off. So we got it about like 80%. Um, everything's looking really, really good. We're rinsing things off right now. Just kind of seeing where we're at. And then once we're done stripping everything, we're gonna fill the joints in and then finally it'll be time to seal. But basically we, we got huge, huge progress here. So the tiles are actually looking a lot better, looking how they should have looked when, uh, well, uh, how they probably looked before they were sealed. So made a lot of progress here. And then this is actually the next day. So we planned on sealing today, um, but when we got here, there a lot of the tiles were still really wet. So this pool deck is over a original, it's an overlay over cool decking. Um, and so that makes, that kind of creates issues with drainage and water and moisture and all that. So when we came back, we actually noticed that there was a lot of areas that still had sealer on them that we couldn't see the day before. And so we're basically spot treating all those bad areas um, with more stripper just to let it sit because we want to make sure we get everything off before it's time to seal. So a little bit of an interruption, but that's all right because, I mean, these types of jobs, we really just don't know what we're getting into. So we want to make sure that we get it done right. So now once this is done we're going to start putting our sealer on after we do the sand and the difference with the sealer that we use is it's a urethane based product so the urethane coatings are very different than a regular sealer um mainly in how durable they are they're going to last way way longer compared to a regular sealer um, and especially in a climate like this like we have here in the phoenix area in arizona most sealers really don't work um and so you can see we're getting our sealer on in that area, right? You can see how much better everything looks right around the fire pit. It's got that nice little sheen to it, nice little color pop. Everything turned out really, really good. So you'll see this final shot right here with everything done, just how beautiful and flawless this looks. So it's quite the project, but glad we can get it done.